In this video, I want to cover what we now know about the RTX 4080, the RTX 4080, and the RTX 4090. Just today, there was a conference where NVIDIA President CEO Jensen Huang released price, gigabyte information, and somewhat release dates for the 4000 series. You should note here, they do not push $2,000 as some leakers predicted yet a mere few days ago. What we learned is that the RTX 4090 will include 24 gigs of memory, and it is supposedly two to four times faster than the current high-end RTX 3090 Ti. The release date will be October 12th, and it will cost $1599. I wanted to gather price per performance data for you. So these are the cheapest prices on eBay I could find for the RTX 3080, 3080 Ti, 3090, and 3090 Ti. So if we are to assume that the RTX 4080 is twice as good, then its price should be at this used price over $1,000, assuming it is currently 900. That is a very good indicator that the price per performance for the 4000 series is much better at current prices. So should you buy one? What is a interesting feature of this is that there is a new technology included in the 4000 series cards called deep learning super sampling. It is reportedly capable of generating additional frames and boosting game performance by up to two times. I did not hear anyone mention whether or not this is something that is built into the graphics card is hardware or software related, or is it a program that programmers will have to use and build into their games later? I have not heard that, so I can't advise you on that at this time. As soon as I find out, I will let you know, but I thought that was very interesting. I've also not heard anyone mention the fact that crypto miners are beginning to get rid of their 3000 series cards in droves, which is going to start to drive prices down significantly. In addition, now we know that the RTX 4090 will be released sooner rather than later. So I believe this will cause prices to fall on the 3000 series much faster than they would have if they had held out on the 4000 series and saw until say 2023. So taking into account the fact that the crypto market is crashing, that miners will soon be selling lots of their bulk graphics cards, driving prices down. I came up with three scenarios I think make sense. Number one, with all of the price per performance gains in hardware, if you are looking or are in the market for a, graph, a high end graphics card now, it might very well benefit you to buy one of the RTX 4000 series cards. Next, if you already have an RTX 3080 Ti, 3090, 3090 Ti, and you want to maintain the most value in a graphics card that you can, it may very well be in, in your best interest to upgrade as soon as the 4090 comes out or as soon as the 4080 comes out and sell your 3090 or 3090 Ti for as much money as you can get. If you wait, the price of your current graphics card will fall and the 4000 series prices will probably only go up from here as Zotac and everyone start releasing fancier versions with higher clock settings, so forth and so on. So it may very well benefit you to sell your 3000 series as soon as you can get a 4000 series, if not before. Scenario three is probably the best option if you don't really need the latest and greatest graphics card right now and you can stand a 3000 series card or even a good 2000 series graphics card, I would wait as I think that you're gonna see prices fall by several hundred dollars, at least on the 3080s and 3090s over the next several weeks to a few months. Finally, we are back in the era where you can build a decent gaming PC with the same type of hardware that a current Xbox or PS5 will have at basically the same price. It's been several years since we've been able to do that, but finally, maybe we will return to that. As always, thank you for watching and please like, share, and subscribe.